Welcome to the Hood Boxing Gym. In this video, we will show you around the place, show you all it has to offer, and most of all, why it brings people together. A friendly reception area with a volunteer to greet you, snacks and some drinks, and even some cool merch. And festive decorations to light the place. A weightlifting gym with all the kind of today's equipment. An MMA training room with full size MMA octagon. <laughs> <laughs> and a large selection of punch cards. Not one, but two boxing rings. Now, for some people, the hood is somewhere they come to maintain good mental health. Let's hear from Jane. Can we start with name, um, when you joined? Um, Jane Withington. Uh, I joined about three weeks ago, actually. Um, I've been in uh, boxing and kickboxing for a couple of years, on and off. Uh, come from a gym in Leeds. I can't get over there at the moment. So, uh, come here and I was welcomed. Uh, Keeping fit um, for the old mental health. <laughs> uh, keep positive um, and uh, maintain my weight so that I can fight in the future and get better. Okay, so that's sort of into the next question. Like, um, <laughs> what, what, what do you get out of the hood and stuff like that? So is it like an amateur thing or is uh, it? It's a release. Go? It's a release of uh, sort of any uh, negative things that are going on in my mind um, it allows me to express myself um, and become again become fitter and stronger physically so that I become that mentally as well uh, try and maintain that <laughs> uh, keep balance and whatnot <coughs> uh, and how did you find out about the hood you said you're boxing I've known about the hood, uh, the hood for a couple of years to be fair, I've had a few friends come here and stuff, I've just uh, never had the chance to come down because I've sort of been uh, everywhere <laughs> else. <laughs> um, then yeah, I finally came down a few weeks ago with, um, oh, yeah, and then here I am. Um, best thing about the hood? The people. People. Uh, Reagan and Laura, the positive vibe that is in this building, um, consistency. Uh, the support and the friendship. Um, and you said you were boxing in Leeds. What would you do? The question is, what would you do if you were not here? But let's say, what would you do if you weren't boxing? If I weren't boxing, if you, were, if you didn't have boxing, I, yeah. I, if I didn't have it at all, yeah, crumble probably. I know. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd I'd find some form of uh, fitness to do. To be fair, because if, if if there's anything that I have learned, it is it's quite important to have it in your life. Um, you know, you got to look after yourself. Brothers, to today to their physical health through intense boxing sessions and fitness classes. Let's hear from Mark. Hello, uh, my name's Mark Catra. Um, I'm 62 years old and I've been coming to Ud for seven years. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so Mark, you've already asked, um, you already answered like, how long you've been coming here. Can you tell us um, when exactly you joined the hood? Um, January 2017 I joined, yeah. Um, can you tell us how it's affected your life since you've joined the hood? Well, <clears throat> I suffer with uh, osteoarthritis in both, in both of my knees. Um, when I started here I was 46 stone. My doctor said to me, if I didn't come here and lose any weight, I probably won't see another 12 month or 18 month of my life, because my life had gone down the hill on a downhill spiral. And I met Regan, um, and I, I said to him, I'm thinking about joining the gym. I didn't actually know him at that time. I knew of him, yeah. but I didn't know him. And he said, Mark, come up to the gym in January. He says, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Anyway, I joined the gym, and I got stuck into me, me, me uh, bag work and everything for a good two year, 18 month, two year. And I managed to lose 15 stone. Wow. And I'm doing exceptionally well. I, honestly, I, I, I never felt as, as I could walk. I never felt as healthy as what I did when I lost that 15 stone. But then lockdown came and I put six stone back on. So it knocked me really back. And I'm, I'm, still, I'm still here after all them years, yeah. trying to lose weight, but uh, my mind's not on it really, because I'm struggling with my knees. I'm having uh, steroid injections in both knees and they're not really working. And I'm, I'm coming to the gym 
I'm throwing my sin about, knocking myself about, and it's causing me more pain, but I wait again and I just want to try and get this off next year. I've said next year I'm going to get this off and uh, try and have a better quality of life because at the moment I can't walk no way. You know I'm sitting down on a chair to train. Um, my quality of life is terrible. I've no, I've no quality of life at all and I've, I need to get back on my feet again. No, I understand. Um, so what do you think you get out of from coming to the hood? Well, what I get out of coming here is comradeship with people what train in the morning. They're, they're all friends. We're all, it's like a big happy family here. Regan's a, a diamond to me. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here now, I mean. It's in what it's in what keeps pushing me. Yeah, yeah. Like he'll phone me and he'll say, some days I don't feel like coming to the gym and he'll phone me and he'll say, get up to the gym, come up to the gym and train, you've got to keep moving. It's in what really It's a special it, it's a special feeling when you come in. And, and like Regan said last week when I'm working around on base. Um, and in a boxing gym, it's such a, a different feeling. You can't, so you can't sort of describe it in one word, to be honest. But if you have to try, it. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's good, and, and it's nice to come up and, and have that feeling. This boxing gym is accessible for adults and children as well. If you're looking for inspiration and staying fit. What would you say the best thing is about the house? Uh, it can make mates. And then. When you joined, uh, how did you find out about the hood? Uh, my football team, uh, it got shut down, so I needed to do a new sport, so I came here. Yeah, Harry, just tell us a bit about yourself and why you joined the hood when you did. Uh, I joined the hood when I was eight, because my dad wanted me to get into boxing. Uh, and I, started, I went for about a month, and I didn't really like it, so. I did it about three, uh, three year, maybe three, four year, and I was blown no away. I got a great fat, very obese, pretty much. And then I decided uh, one day to just change it. And I came back to the gym and um, I trained as hard as I could in one for one day, and I, I couldn't move after. So I get a week and I rejoined back slowly, slowly, slowly. So about four, 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 four three year, and then. Well, here now, amateur, everything. Well, that's great, yeah. So, in terms of, you mentioned a bit there about the weight of the work, so what's the impact it's had on your life? It's had so many impacts, like, I used, I used to not be able to run, I used to not be able to climb, I could do a sit-up or a push-up, but now I can do everything, but, yeah. And in terms of what do you, what do you get out of the you know? I get so much, I get like, yeah. Place to where I feel like welcome, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I feel loved here, but yeah, everyone, I love all I want. That's right. And in your opinion, what's the, what's the best thing about, about this place? Probably, probably the friends you can make. Yeah. The friends you make, yeah. Like we. Yeah. So, could you just tell us your name and why you first came to the hood? Uh, my name's Faris, and. Um, came to the hood because my dad was a boxer and I used to go to a gym but I still wanted to go to a gym so I came to this. And when about did you? Uh, like three years ago. Pardon? Three years ago. So ah, three years ago, okay. Um, and what do you get out of our coming home? Everything. Happiness, fitness, um, enjoy. Yeah. That's great. And so you, how do you, has it affected your life? Yeah. Um, affected my life. I'm really, really fit. I am making like got a lot of good friends and um, works for me. And what do you think the best thing about the hood? Uh, everything. Everything's the best. Yeah. Nice. Now let's hear from Regan Denton, the founder of this fantastic community gym. Introduce yourself and say what the hood means to you. Yeah, I'm uh, Regan Denton. And the hood to me is uh, means uh, means many things to many people. I don't know where to start, but uh, it's brought communities together. What's dropped crime and fires and health issues better 
people losing weight and a lot of depressed people. It's made them better, made people better people. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's something for what we all. If I were a doctor, I'd prescribe it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the world would be a better place than you want, so you said, wouldn't you? you? But you've tasted it yourself, and do you support it? Yeah, yeah, do You make you happy? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, put people in, sad people, but they turn out happy people. Yeah. And happy stories. Yeah, yeah, most of us. It's working. And I'm happy that you are here to support us and be interested in the community. We're being professional people, what you're going to be. So yeah, great. Uh, so what made you start the bus? I could just see something missing. I'm from here. I went to the school, as a matter of fact. Uh, I got kicked out because I couldn't read all right. So I come from an old background. But uh, luckily I found boxing. And boxing uh, gave me discipline, something to be a part of. And I, 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 got, I got good at it. And I got a professional contract. Sky Sports and Frank Warren and travelled the world and met a lot of people and had some fun. And now it's all about the next generation. Keeping them out of trouble and keeping the community fighting fit. See, it sounds not just about fighters, these guys are what we're doing in Yorkshire and nationals now, are you? And professional, turning a professional now. Been at 12 years now, I've been at this. 12 years. It's been a long time, and it's slow. But plenty of results of, like I said, dropping crime and fires by off, making the uh, community a, a happier people, a community, bringing unity to our community. Uh, what, what did boxing do for you when you were younger? Um, what does the hook do for you now? Well, like I said, I come from a broken home, so. Uh, I used to get into a, people to might say I used to get into a bit of mischief. Uh, but it, then boxing, so but you have to have discipline and respect. Can't be a thief or a con man. You can't sell a ticket, can you? You've got to sell tickets. You've got to be a, a, somebody who's a man of the community. So no people look up, up to, to support. So yeah. What does the do for you now? Yeah. It does it, it it's got it out it's it does everything for a lot of people, it does a lot of a way of life, like I say, I can't explain it, it's magical. Something bigger than me, way bigger than me. Bigger than us all and that's why I've become good together. No one's bigger than nobody in here. But if you think they are, you can get them gloves on down there. Uh, and that's how sort of our differences are. We've got some good kids, lads, lasses. Uh, so we're tough up here. We're built very good, tough up pit lane. That man at all. <laughs> What's the best thing about that? <sighs> there you go. People ask me these questions, what's the best thing? I don't want really to see too. But I am going to think so much, but everything about it, everything about it. When doors open to when they close, or even when they close. As you see on neighborhood, if you go around this building now, because crime and fire have dropped the cash cow seen the land. I thought, great, let's invest. Building 5,000 houses on here now. That's a lot of people. Isn't it? Uh, so and all the all the houses coming, all the kids used to break in and smash the uh, the houses of what they were doing. But then they couldn't see the hood and put the signs on, the signs on, and the kids keep up because they donate to the hood like helping out with boxing gloves and bits and bats. And for a uh, self-run charity, there's no money around here. No money around here. What do you think are some of the problems there? A place like the Hot Souls? Uh, massively, it, it brings unity. The massive thing is unity. From unity, that's how you get that community. And then from that, it, that's how it, it, it just gets safer and happier, healthier, yeah, positively. 
more positive. So now it's exciting with Mana because when you look at statistics, uh, Mana was most negative, now it's most positive. So it's going to be, I'm looking forward to see it develop in a good place. People come from all around the world, come here, we've got some cracking kids. It's great to see them and got some great memories and great people that's come in and they've come from all around the world and, and local people and all but we brought it together, that's what we've done. Uh, as you see, wow, 50% of the crime drop in the area, fire 75%. Unbelievable. And we were, like I say, we, we, you, your guys, uh, the police fire service, we're all working together in schools, in the community. It's a shame we haven't got no backing, no major backing. As you see, it's cold. These, these kids aren't even got a lot of shower. They've only put us in here to stop uh, people burning it. That's what they did. They put us in here to stop kids from burning it. Because it's massive, they thought, what are we going to do? But they look down here, they're, they're looking after the kids. We do you want to look after this? And go, alright then. I just opened the doors and come in, come in, they come in and they're like, I didn't think you'd do this much for a good job. But they won't move like, damn. Course. No, it's uh, a charity, uh, and a community charity, based with, with fitness, health, we've got everything as you, you see, all sports going, uh, getting people educated as well and work, getting them back in, prisoners back into, on the streets, back into work, keeping them out of prison, keeping people well, so what more can I say? What more can I say? And if it described the hood in one word, what would it be? Amazing. Ecstatic. Friendship. Friendship. Family. Uh, energetic. Amazing, amazing. Amazing. Positive. The best option. <laughs> That's all we wanted to show you. We hope we've inspired some appreciation for this place. Above all, the hood is a place for friendship and family. So what are you waiting for? Join this community award-winning gym. And watch the live transport through boxing. <laughs> Action. Welcome to the hood. No, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Can you get the video, boss? And festive decorations to light in the place. <laughs> Join this community. <laughs> It's recording when you're ready.